Good evening, everybody. I'm John Maloney. Nice to meet you all. Uh, not a lot of material. Um, when you're a bit of a looker, it don't really matter, though. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Get away with anything looking like this. So, Any ladies out there who fancy a fat bloke with a lesbian haircut? Um, <laughs> One nil to the ladies. <laughs> I'm actually married though. Sorry ladies, sitting there touching yourselves, it's too late. Um, <laughs> can't help it, alpha male, you can't help yourselves. I've been married 21 years, we've had an argument. It's lasted 21 fucking years. <laughs> well, 20 years, 11 months and two weeks to be precise. I was away for two weeks. I paid for that when I got home. I'll be honest with you, after 20 years or so, sex life gets a bit boring. Recently I discussed anal sex with my wife, she agreed, but when she came out of the bedroom wearing a strap-on dildo, I went off the idea. <laughs> I said, thanks anyway, but we'll leave it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Fucking hell, there was no need to take a run-up, was it? And I've got kids, I worry about the teenage years, never easy. When I was 14, my mother caught me, uh, you know, masturbating, very embarrassing. Thankfully, she was quite understanding. They still haven't let me back into that particular branch of Argos, but the way that I look at it... <laughs> 14, summer catalogues come out, you've got to celebrate. No wonder they laminate it. Also, when I was 14, my dad caught me smoking cigarettes. He made me smoke 20 in a row. I thought, well, thank God it wasn't him who caught me masturbating. <laughs> I was 14, I would have given it a good go. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how much my parents loved me as a kid. I remember they took me to the uh, safari park to see the lions in an antelope skin jacket. <laughs> with a roast chicken in each pocket. <laughs> and a big badge that said, all lions are wankers. <laughs> I came from a poor family, did you? Yes, I did. I used to wear um, hand-me-down clothes, which would have been all right if I'd had older brothers. Um, <laughs> used to wear my granddad's clothes, not a deal. <laughs> School playground, seven years old, cardigan and slippers in a pipe. <laughs> and a catheter. My granddad... <laughs> my granddad was responsible for shooting down two German planes. Unfortunately, he did it in 1971. <laughs> but he said you could never be too careful. He was very paranoid. I'm getting old myself now. I walk into rooms, I can't remember why. It's one of the first signs of getting old. You walk into a room, you go, what are coming in for? I'll start to do that. Walked into the bathroom recently, stood here for about three seconds, and shit myself. <laughs> I'm also officially old because last Christmas, my mum and dad stayed with me, and the one before that, and the Christmas before that, and the Christmas before that. And for many Christmases, my parents now stay with me at Christmas. That's when you are officially old. You youngsters go back to your mum and dad's for Christmas. You get to my age, they come and stay with you. But it's nice, it proves that life moves on. You're old enough to look after your own mum and dad. We were sitting there, 10 in the evening, Christmas Eve, watching a film. I turned to my mum and dad and I said, bed. <laughs> it was a really lovely feeling, you know. And, and my mum said, but John, the film has only just started. I said, uh, I don't care, go to bed. <laughs> and don't think you're sleeping in the same room either. You might get away with that kind of thing under your roof. <laughs> but I think if I die, I pay the bills around here. <laughs> get a job, Dad. <laughs> and start treating this place like a fucking hotel. 